Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, Module 4, Lesson 3, Similar Triangles and Slope. After this lesson, you need to be able to identify similar triangles that fall on the same line in a coordinate plane and show that the slopes of the lines are equal. Let's learn. Similar triangles. When figures have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, they're called similar figures. Similar figures have corresponding parts, meaning they have parts that are related on each of them. So if two triangles are similar, then the angles within those triangles are congruent, or they're the same. And the ratios of their corresponding sides are proportional. If we look at our symbols here, we can see that side AB is proportional, or it's a ratio with XY. And if we look at the model over here, we can see that AB and XY are the same positioning on the triangles, and XY happens to be twice as large as AB. We can look at the other sides too and see BC is related to YZ. So here's BC, here's YZ, and again, it's just doubled. And then AC with XZ, same position, and it's doubled. If we look at the angles here, angle A corresponds with angle X, angle Y is with B, and then Z is with C. And we can tell which angles are corresponding, again, by how many little arcs there are. So this had one arc, one arc. Those would be your corresponding angles. Two arcs with two arcs, three with three, and so on. And for the sides, you might see them shown as corresponding with these little hash marks. So one hash mark with one hash mark, two hash marks with two hash marks, and then three with three. Again, those just show you that they're corresponding, so you can help find the ones that match. Here we have a picture with two similar triangles. We have triangle ABC and triangle BDE. They're both right triangles, and they fall on the same line in the coordinate plane. We can see they're both along this line right here on that coordinate plane. When it's set up like this, these are called slope triangles. They are similar, so their corresponding sides would be proportional. The vertical, so here's our vertical sides and our horizontal sides, they are like the rise and the run that we learned about in previous lessons for our slope. And then we can use our properties of similar triangles to show that the ratios are the same, meaning that they're going to have the same slope. So if the ratio of the sides is the same for both, then we have the same slope. Or if the ratio of the corresponding side from one to the other is the same throughout, again, we'll find that we have the same slope. And we'll look at this next and in the future examples. So let's use the fact that if these are slope triangles, corresponding sides are proportional. So we have side AC with the ratio to BE. So we have AC to BE, and we want to show that it's, and that should be proportional to BC over DE. Next, we're going to use the multiplication property of equality to kind of rearrange our equation and show that AC over BC, so AC over BC, is the same as BE over DE, so BE over DE. And this is going to help us show that our rise over our run ends up making the slope. And this all works because we're able to use a multiplication property of equality and multiply the same thing on both sides. This would cancel and make one with those, and we'd be left with the ratio that we want. Finally, we can replace what we know now that we're using our slope triangles with our rise and our run. We can replace those side lengths with the rise and the run. So AC was six units tall, while BC was three units wide. BE was four units tall, and DE was two units wide. If we simplify, six over three reduces to two over one. So they end up being the same ratio, showing that they form a triangles with the same slope. And this is helpful, so since we can show that these ratios are equal, it shows that the slope is the same anywhere on the line, and that is going to be an important fact to know with linear equations. So let's look at this again in a different way. We are saying that similar triangles that form slope triangles have equal slopes. And this is going to be helpful since the ratio of the rise to the run is going to be equal to the slope of the line. So no matter what triangle we create, it should be the slope of the line. 
and it should be equal to the slope of any other triangle on that line. So if we look at the larger triangle here, our rise was negative six. It was six spaces down and three units over for the run. If we do negative six over three, we can reduce that, divide it out to get negative two. If we take our smaller triangle, we went down two and over one, which again divides to negative two. So both of these triangles ended up forming the same rise over run ratio. So they had the same slope, meaning the slope of our line in general is going to also be negative two. And here they showed negative eight over four. That would be as if we took one point straight to the next. We had to go down eight over four. Here we see one more. If we're taking our ratios, A over B to B over C. So here's A over B, here's B over C. We have that ratio as four for the rise, three for the run. C over D, eight over six. C over D with eight, six reduces to four over three. They have the same slope, so the slope of the line would be four over three. Example one, compare slopes of similar triangles. The graph of line T is shown. Use the similar slope triangles to compare the slope of segment AC and the slope of the segment CE. So first let's find the slope of segment AC. So here's AC right here. We're gonna use the triangle ABC to find the ratio of the rise to the run. So AB has a rise of three, up three, and a run of two. So the slope of this segment right here is three over two. Now let's find the slope for segment CE. So CE is right here. We're gonna use the triangle with CDE to find that ratio. This one went up six and over four. If we were to simplify that, six over four simplifies to three over two. And again, we find that that triangle had the same slope of three over two. And since we know that the ratios of the sides of these triangles are similar, as that's our definition for similar triangles, we can say that the slopes of these triangles are also the same. Check your understanding. The graph of line D is shown. Use the similar triangles to compare the slope of segment FJ to the slope of segment JK. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. So you should have found that the slope of segment FJ is negative two, and the slope of segment JK is also negative two. They have equal slopes, which is good because they are similar slope triangles. So FJ went down four and over two, so negative four over two as a ratio ends up being a negative two. And JK went down two over one again, negative two over one is negative two. So both have a slope in the triangle of negative two, meaning line D ends up having a slope of negative two. Example two, verify slopes using slope triangles. The pitch of a roof refers to the slope of the roof line. Choose two points on the roof and find the pitch of the roof shown. Then verify that the pitch is the same by choosing a different set of points. So step one here, let's use points T and U to draw the slope triangle, we have T, U, B right here. We would need the ratio of the rise over the run. So our rise here was one, our run here was two. So one over two. Based on this first triangle, the pitch of the roof is one half, meaning the slope of this line that's forming the edge of the roof is gonna be one half. Next, let's verify that the pitch is the same throughout using two other points. So we can use the ones up here, S and R. This time our rise was two and our run was four. And again, I'm reading it left to right. So even though I might've went to the left here, in the aspect of the picture, I'm reading it left to right. So it's a positive four and a positive two. Then let's simplify. So two fourths is the same as one half. So since this slope was also one half, the pitch of the roof is the same throughout. We could have also used U and S. This has a ratio of three to six, which again is still one half. Or we could have chose from T all the way 
to r. This has a ratio of 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 6 over 12 is still a ratio of 1 half. Any combination of the points between, we still would find that the slope is 1 half. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and show the slope is the same in multiple places. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. So throughout this, it has a slope of negative 2 fifths, or you could change it to a decimal to negative 0 0.4. So let's look at two different sets of points we could use. We could do j to k already formed a triangle here. It went down to over 5. We can't reduce that. That's our lowest we can go, negative 2 over 5. If we had chose, let's say, g to k, we had to go down 3, down 6, over 15. So negative 6 over 15. I can divide both of them by 3 to reduce this, and I still get a simplest fraction of negative 2 fifths. If I chose g to h, still negative 2 fifths. Again, if we're showing that this is a correct and it has the same slope throughout, we should be getting similar fractions that reduce down to the same thing each time. In this case, it was negative 2 fifths. Take time to pause and reflect. How will you study the concepts in today's lessons? Describe some steps you can take. No need to pause the video as this is the end of the lesson. So write down your thoughts.